CDC has issued that door-to-door -door trick or treating is high risk for spreading COVID-19. But that's not enough to scare DTSF and families from finding a safe way to celebrate. With Halloween creeping up around the corner, owner of Papa Woody's Wood Fire Pizza, Lisa Esser, and her husband Steve are getting into the seasonal spirit. My husband is um, for a hobby. He makes Halloween art, and so we've been big Halloween people. Um, as long as him and I have been together. With the CDC stating that traditional trick-or-treating is high risk for getting COVID-19, for them, the thought of not being able to celebrate was truly scary. Our youngest is eight, and watching our two youngest kids lose out on some of the um, being a kid this year has been hard. This Sunday, they're keeping that spirit alive. Papa Woody's is one of 14 local businesses participating in downtown Sioux Falls' annual downtown trick-or-treat. Being able to dress up and be somebody different every year and um, and the imagination that they have on who they want to be this year and what they want to dress up as, it's fun. Community Outreach Coordinator Sadie Swear says those businesses will be ready with hand sanitizing stations and follow CDC guidelines. And of course we still encourage people to wear masks. I think this will be a great time to get have some fun with what kind of masks you are wearing. To coordinate traffic for stores that are found inside the Jones Building on Phillips, they'll have a one-way entrance and exit. Everybody was coming in one door, going all the way through the building and exiting on the other side. That way, when families come through, they can be safe and have a frighteningly fun time. <laughs> are, you, are you a person who scares easily? No, no. I mean, when you have... <laughs> I mean, maybe I scare easy. <laughs> Now downtown trick or treat is this Sunday from 1 p.m. to 3. To see a list of participating businesses and a map to find your way around, there's a link under this story at kelloland.com.